Welcome to another episode. My name is Manny and this is Grabani and today I'll be showing you how to make some pineapple skin tea. Let's get started. Over here I have a whole organic pineapple and the only thing we need today is the skin. So it makes sense for us to give it a proper wash to get rid of dirt, debris and parasites. Place your pineapple in a large bowl then fill your bowl up with some fresh filtered water. Add some sea salt to help kill parasites and mold. This drink is really good for easing symptoms related to cold, IBS, and general inflammation. The entire pineapple is supposed to sit in salt water for 10 minutes, but since I don't have a large enough bowl to submerge the entire thing, I'm going to let one side sit for 10 minutes, flip it around, then let the other side sit for 10 minutes. After a total of 10 to 20 minutes, you're going to give it a proper wash, then drain the water. Now we're going to rinse it a couple more times with fresh water, then we're done. Even though the only thing we need from this pineapple is the skin, we're going to have to remove the crown to make it easier to peel. Let me show you a really easy way to remove the crown. Just grab the crown and twist. As you can see, that was very easy, right? We don't need the crown today, but if you live in one of those regions that's sunny year-round, you could plant it. Now let me show you how I peel the skin of a pineapple. Place your pineapple upright, then using a knife, make a small incision, rock your knife back and forth while pushing downwards, and there you have it. Rotate the pineapple and repeat the process until fully peeled. Rotate the pineapple while inspecting it to make sure it's fully peeled. As I mentioned earlier, we're not going to be using this pineapple flesh today, but I'm going to be showing you a really awesome recipe in the near future. This however is what we need today and we're going to treat it like gold because it contains a really beneficial proteolytic enzyme called bromelain. The flesh and the stem also contains some bromelain, but we're only using the skin today. Set the skin aside for now. Now let's work on our other ingredients. We're going to start with fresh ginger. Fresh ginger has so many benefits but I'm not going to go into them today. However, I can show you how to peel it easily. The easiest way to peel fresh ginger is by using a spoon. After peeling your ginger, you don't have to throw the skins away. Believe it or not, you could recycle these ginger skins right in your home using the kitchen appliance I'm about to show you. This kitchen appliance can turn approved vegetable scraps into a nutrient-dense dirt for your plants. It's genius. We'll talk more about this in the next video. Let's move on. To prep your ginger, you could either slice them into smaller pieces or you could place them on your chopping board and bash them with the side of your knife. Apparently, this will make it easier to extract all of the juices. As for me, I don't care. I add them whole. Next, we'll be slicing one or two whole limes with their skins on. Just like pineapple skins, limes contain a ton of vitamin C and antioxidants, which are really good for the skin and for your immune system. Next, we're going to place a large pot on the stove set to high heat. Add four cups of filtered spring water. Add all of your pineapple peels to the pot. We're going to immediately follow that with our fresh ginger. Next, add your sliced limes. Immediately follow that with about 10 cloves. Next, add a pinch of sail and cinnamon. This is optional, but I like to add some cayenne pepper to spice things up. The next step is to mix it all together. I like this drink really hot as it helps ease my cold symptoms. 
Finally, we're going to cover it and bring it to a rolling boil for 10 minutes. After boiling for 10 minutes, turn the heat all the way down, cover and let it simmer for one hour. After simmering for one hour, you should be good to go. Now we're going to have to strain this. Pass it through a strainer or a cheesecloth. By the way, please look up Gravity on Instagram and follow me there. I really need the help there. Finally, squeeze out the remaining juices using a potato masher or a spoon. These scraps can also go into the kitchen appliance I showed you earlier. You can squeeze in some more lime juice, then add a pinch of salt and agave before drinking. Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm.